what are the chances Judge is not, sorry, Stephen A., a Yankee next season? Well, a lot of that depends, Molly, on the New York Yankees. And we need to look at it in this context. The New York Yankees are the Dallas Cowboys of baseball. They are the Los Angeles Lakers of baseball. They are the team with the most revenue coming into their coffers every year. They are the team that should then thus have the highest payroll every year. They don't have the highest payroll in their own city right now. And the embarrassment that would wash over this franchise if the guy who they raised in their farm system, who they drafted and developed, who they saw turn into a superstar in New York City, then suddenly left in free agency because the Yankees weren't going to pay him enough, would be about as low an adir as I can remember for the New York Yankees. So my belief, just out of that logic alone, that the New York Yankees cannot survive the emotional hit internally as well as with their fans by letting Aaron Judge go leads me to believe that he will be in pinstripes not just next year but for the remainder of his career. Well, thank you for ending it with the, uh, ending your soliloquy with that, Jeff Passer, because the way you just started off and you're, you're getting on my nerves because I said, <laughs> you and, and that damn Tim Kirkjian and, and, and Buster Oni, you never, ever bring me good news about my Yankees. Never. Y'all always, always bring me bad news. So the fact that you just said that and you ended it the way that you ended it, I'm very, very happy about that because I got to tell you something right now. When I look you're at welcome. this brother, Aaron Judge, I give him props for betting on himself. I think he deserves a lot of props for that, no doubt about it. What did he turn down? What was it, $240, $250 million that he turned down, Jeff? Was that about right? Was it? I mean, it was $213 million plus another 13. $17 million for this season. So total gotcha. was 230 Let's put it this way. It wasn't enough. And That's the Yankees right. are going to have to pay Stephen A. $100 million plus more to get him now. Okay, now let me ask you this question because I'm watching the 61 home runs. I'm watching him batting over 300. I'm watching him do the things that he's been doing. Do the Yankees need to keep him because, oh, excuse me, you can't let him go to the New York Mets? Or is he somebody that you can see, maybe not 61 home runs, of course, but this is somebody that can be prolific for years to come? Will he be worth that in your estimation, Jeff? In baseball, contracts like the one Aaron Judge is about to get, generally speaking, they don't turn out very well, especially for hitters. I mean, we've seen Albert Pujols have this resurgence at age 42, but uh, that's the anomaly. That's the exception to the rule. And so the reality is whoever brings in Aaron Judge, whether it is the New York Yankees, the New York Mets, the Chicago Cubs, the San Francisco Giants, wherever he winds up signing— the first five years of that deal are what they're going to be really looking for him to produce in. And there's an understanding in baseball, especially with sluggers, especially with bigger guys, that they tend historically not to age particularly well. So when you're bringing in Aaron Judge and spending the $300 million plus million it's going to take to get him, you're doing so in hopes of maximizing your championship run over the next half decade as opposed to the eighth and ninth years of okay. the deal. Okay, let me ask you a real question right here, Jeff. If you had to fear that he would leave the New York Yankees, I mean, where do you think the likely destination is for him if he were not to resign in pinstripes? Inside the industry, Stephen A., the team that everybody points to is the San Francisco Giants. Aaron Judge is from California. It's clear he is very close with his parents who have been following him around this whole time. And being out in California, uh, I think, is something that would appeal to him. The Giants also are in a transitional phase right now. Buster Posey retired last year. Brandon Crawford and Brandon Belt's contracts are going to be up soon. And so uh, to, to start this rebuild, if you will, with Aaron Judge at the centerpiece of it would be a great move for the Giants. But in reality, we know what the actual answer is, and it is the New York Mets. Steve Cohen is willing to go out and spend more money than every other owner in baseball. And this may be a painful thing for Yankees fans to hear. It I is. understand it. But, but the fact is, especially if the Mets don't win a championship this year, especially if Jacob deGrom leaves and they have a big hole in their budget that they would love to fill with a six foot seven, 280 pound man child 
who can roam center field if Brandon Nimmo leaves in free agency too, who can roam right field, who can hit bombs at City Field. I mean, everything lines up there for that to be the play for Aaron Judge to leverage the Yankees if, in fact, it gets to the point where he feels like that exclusive negotiating period at the beginning of free agency isn't going the way that he wants. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.